Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the position of the alkali metals, halogens and noble gases on the periodic table. If we start off with a quick recap then, you should remember the groups go down from the top, so group 1 and group 2 are over on the left here, the transition metals are the block in the middle, and then you've got group 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and either 8 or 0 on the right. And don't forget that the periods are the rows going across. Group 1 are your alkali metal, so anything in this first column is classed as an alkali metal. And if you remember back to the electronic configuration part of the course, they all have one electron in the outer shell. The halogens are group 7, and they all have 7 electrons in the outer shell. And the noble gases are in the final group, which on some periodic tables you'll see is group 8, but in general it's classed as group 0. And they have full outer shells, so helium has 2 in the first shell and everything else has a full 8 in the outer shell. Now, in some periodic tables, you'll also see hydrogen is actually placed in group 1. On the one in your GCSE, you'll actually see it's been moved separate. The reason for that being is hydrogen, although it has one electron in the outer shell, it is not a metal. All of the ones in group 1 are alkali metals. Hydrogen is not a metal, therefore we separate it and say it's not part of group 1. Okay, hopefully that was fairly straightforward for you. Let's see what the examiners can actually ask you to do with this. So I've got three questions, all to do with the periodic table you can see here on the right. The first one is identify the letter of the alkali metals, the noble gases and the halogens on that periodic table. So give me either an A, B, C, D or E for each of those three. Which one is an alkali metal, which one is a noble gas, which one is a halogen? One mark for each. Question 2, explain why hydrogen is not in group 1, even though it has one electron in its outer shell. And then question 3, explain in terms of the electronic configuration why the halogens are placed in a certain group of the periodic table. So for that one, what group are they in, and in terms of the electronic configuration, why? Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's see how you've done. So if we start off then with the alkali metal. You should remember they are group 1, so that's this first column here, and one mark for that. The halogens, group 7, therefore it must be B, and the noble gases are group 0 at the end here, so D. One mark for each of those. On to question 2, explain why hydrogen is not in group 1, even though it has one electron in its outer shell. So we turn around and say that the reason for it is that hydrogen is not a metal. You get your second mark for saying, well, that's non-metal, so what? All of these are metals. So the rest of group 1 are alkali metals. So you get two marks for those two points. And then the other thing you could have said is the chemical properties are different. So hydrogen reacts very differently chemically to the rest of group 1. And then if we move on to question 3, explain in terms of electronic configuration why the halogens are placed in a certain group of the periodic table. So the first mark, as I've said, is the group. You should know now group 7 is the halogens, and therefore, in terms of electronic configuration, how many electrons do they have in the outer shell? 7. So one mark for they're in group 7, and one mark for they have 7 electrons in the outer shell. Make sure you say outer shell, don't just say they have 7 electrons. Okay, that brings this video to an end. I have got a review question for you, which is, describe the structure of the periodic table. It's a 6 marker, and in there you should include the position of the alkali metals, the halogens, the noble gases, and the transition metals, and also describe the relationship between the electronic configuration and the group and period the elements in. Now that's a bit of a recap. If you can't remember that, I'll put a link in the top right-hand side of this video to help you out. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can have a look at my latest video up there. You can also have a look at my website if you haven't seen it before. And you can click on subscribe down below. Bye now.